Hi everyone, Fernando here today. I'm gonna to be sharing with you five activities you should be doing right now. This is concerning about what's happening to the market. The market has dropped over 25% on showings from uh, month to month as opposed to last year, 25% less in contracts. So I mean that things are changing right now. And because of that, Danny has mentioned these things on our meeting uh, today. Uh, and uh, I want to amplify these five points that he brought in because it's very important that if you're thinking about maintaining yourself at a high level in real estate, you need to be doing these activities. Otherwise, people are going to step over you. So let's go ahead and get started. And let's start with the first one. Number one, reach out to people. You know, this is the time we need to challenge yourself uh, to reach a certain amount of people in one single month. For example, I'm gonna challenge myself to reach 100 people before the end of August. So I have my days set up, how many people I have to call every day, and not necessarily get in touch with these people and talk to them one on one, but at least dial the phone, leave a phone a, a voicemail, or make some type of connection with them. But reaching out uh, to, to people it's a general idea, you know, that you should, we should be doing this all the time. But for this activity that is going to be applicable to what today's market is, is concentrate on a number. Pick a number. And like I say, I'm going to be reaching 100 people before the end of August. And I want to make sure that I'm going to get this done. I'm going to keep a tally of how many people I'm calling every day so I can make sure I reach my goal. That's number one. Number two. Add 10 people to your database, and then you're going to include them uh, also them in your newsletter. So what does this mean? If your business needs to grow, if you want a business that's going to grow, your database has to grow accordingly. You cannot have 100 people in your database, and then three years later have 100 people in your database and expect to have more business. That is not going to happen. Your database has to grow along the side of your business. For that reason, if you're not concentrating on the amount of people you're putting in your database in a single month, every single month, you are not really working towards getting better in the future, you know? So add 10 people to your database this month. Concentrate on that, just 10 people. These are the people that are going to be uh, uh, you're going to be connecting with them on a monthly basis. Hopefully, you're sending a newsletter. Even if you're not sending a regular newsletter, at least send them something by email using your KB Core e-newsletters. Anything that you can do to maintain contact with these people. But adding 10 people to your database this month, that means that in the next 12 months, you can add 120 people. Those 120 people could mean five extra transactions for you in one single year. Listen to that. Add the number of people to your database. Keep always growing when it comes down to that. Number three, write five reviews. This is reciprocal marketing on asteroids. This is something that I do all the time and it's very, very strategic. You know, it's like playing chess. Remember, playing chess, you're playing two, three moves ahead of time. Well, this, the way this happens is this. I'm going to give you an example, which the one I'm going to do very soon, is that my 15-year-old son is taking MMA, MMA, MMA classes, which is a type of wrestling, you know, boxing, uh, Brazilian jiu-jitsu, things of that nature, okay? So he invited me, actually, last night to take him over to his next, next uh, to his next class he wanted he wanted me to see him fight with other people and see how he's progressing with this so i went over there sat down on his class for over an hour and they were fighting you know obviously they have all the pads and everything else but the most important thing about this is that while i was watching this i was thinking man what a great thing for kids because most of the kids were like 13 12 11 years old and some of them, they were like skinny, you know, they didn't have much muscles, but they were fighting hard, you know. And even though they had the pads, they were hitting each other pretty hard. And uh, what I was thinking is that this is setting them up in case that they're going to have an event in real life when somebody's going to be attacking them, that at least they're accustomed to somebody being in front of them, punching them so they can defend themselves. 
And that's a good thing to put your kid on. You know that they are not going to be surprised somebody's punching me. But in this case, they already know somebody's punching them and they need to do this and that so they can defend themselves. So what a great thing for kids and what a great thing for families to consider these MMA classes. So for that reason, I'm going to go and write a review on Google for them. And I want to say exactly what I just told you. This is perfect for families to get your kids accustomed in case they get attacked. So, and I'm very impressed about the way this is a family oriented class, you know? So the next thing I will do is that once I connect with the owner again, she's gonna recognize that I have written this uh, review and obviously more likely she's gonna be thankful. And that's the time when I'm gonna say, I am in real estate as well. And this is what we do. We recognize other businesses to make sure they provide the same type of service I am accustomed to give to other people. So if you have somebody who wants to do any type of real estate transaction, please feel free to call me. Here are my cards. You know, guys, this is the way you're going to have reciprocal marketing in a way that these people are going to appreciate that you're helping their business. And she knows a lot of people because she's constantly talking to all the families for new kids to come in. And for that reason, I think this is going to be a great connection for me by just writing one single review. This is what you can do. Consider the five reviews that you're going to write in the next 30 days. What type of businesses and do exactly the blueprint that I just told you to do. And I can assure you that is going to pay off at the end. Number four, ask five people for reviews. Now, this is you asking all your loved ones. That's what uh, Danny was reminding us, you know, because if you don't have the support of the people that loves you on your business, how are you going to be able to succeed? So you need to put pressure on them, you know, and I said, Tio, Tia, this is uncle and in Spanish, you know, you say, hey, you know that I'm in real estate. You know, you haven't given me a single soul to help in real estate. At least give me a great testimonial on my Google reviews. I'm going to send you the link and just say something about me to help my business. You know, so that, that way your uncle might be feeling guilty that they haven't sent you any business. But at least they're going to say, man, this guy is great, great guy. He listens to you. He will do everything he can to help you, whatever. But that review itself is going to be helpful for you because when somebody that is considering hiring you because they heard of you or you talk to them, they're going to hit Google and they're going to put your name and they're going to see the reviews and they're going to see that review. That's going to make them feel better to go ahead and continue working with you or, or completely make the decision to work with you because of that single testimonial. For that reason, when somebody Googles you and you don't have no testimonials, you don't have anything in there, they don't know nothing about you, but people are always checking your social settings. They wanna see what kind of person you are. You know, I do that. If I'm working with somebody, you know, I wanna see their Facebook, because if I see something on their Facebook that goes against my beliefs, you know, I'm not going to call them. They are already fired, they just don't know it. So for that reason, very important, ask five people who you love, write me a review. Don't send me no leads because you haven't sent me any in the last few years, but at least write me a review. That's going to be helpful for you. And finally, we're going to go to number five, attend a professional event. You need to learn and you need to also network and learn how to spell network in the future. But just understand this, you know. Pick a niche, you know, whether it's going to be investment properties, first time home buyers, or any other type, multiple, multi, uh, multi uh, unit properties, or commercial real estate, then find the next event, go over there, learn, have an open mind. At the same time, network with the people there, because those are the people that are going to open up your mind, open up your possibilities for the future. And anytime you make any type of uh, arrangement to meet somebody the next time or going to another place, that's a good opportunity for you to grow even much more as a real estate agent. Hopefully these things help you and hopefully you're going to 
implement all these five things that you need to do in order for you to take all these things that's happening on the market up front and go ahead and do these five activities, I can assure you it's going to help you. Fernando Arboso, see you next time.